Please welcome Ray Kogan from Chicago Tribune and WTA Radio TV. And please welcome William Friedkin. I worked for WGN, as I told you, and I went to the station manager and I said, I would like to make a documentary about this man who has been falsely accused and is on death row. I had never made a film. I had never seen a documentary film. I didn't know how to make a documentary, but I felt compelled to try and do something. He's been on death row for nine years. And I believe he's innocent, and the warden believes he's innocent. And we believe that the police beat a confession out of him. I said, I wonder if I could come down and meet Paul Crump. And he said, what for? Why? I said, I don't know. I, I work in television. Maybe I could be of some help. He said, you can't be of any help. He's going to the electric chair in six months. He's gone. The film was a race against the clock to get it done before Crump was going to the chair. Bill Butler and I went to all the places and we just talked our way in. We had no permits to do anything. We talked our way in and we filmed <coughs> the robbery at um, the stockyards as it was reported in all the newspapers at the time. We filmed the beating of Paul Crump as it was told to me by some Chicago detectives. I made this film as a court of last resort to try to save his life, and it did. And I'm proud of that. I don't think you have that elevated view of yourself as an artiste but rather a collaborator. It's kind of a conductor of a kind of cinematic symphony. Am I wrong? No, I, I'm certainly not an artist. Stravinsky is an artist. Orson Welles. Orson Welles was an artist. Federico Fellini was an artist. Uh, Antonioni is an artist. The one thing that I got from Chicago not a great education at all, but a great connection to the culture. The culture of this city, which is so rich, not only the architecture, which you just see in passing almost everywhere when you go down the street, but the great symphony orchestra and, when, and the Art Institute, which has no equal as a, as a house of, of great art and great paintings. I just consider myself a working film director. There are many good experiences and some uh, bad experiences, but even the bad experiences were a learning process and I learned from everything I've done so far. I don't know, as I say, how many of you believe in, in God, but if you work in films at all, you believe in the movie God. And I strongly believe there is a movie God that makes things happen. And the kind of stories I was able to tell on film, like The French Connection and The Exorcist, which came to me totally through the movie God. I think people need something to believe in that they can create with their own hands. I'm talking about men and women. And that's what I would be willing to make happen for all those who are really, I mean really, interested and wanted to pursue this. Good luck to each and every one of you. And uh, especially I'm happy to see this front row of students that you have who are studying film, all women. And that's a, a really inspiring thing to me. Because when I started, there were none. And you had no chance. The generations 
of talented women that preceded you did not have a chance. And you do. And if it's something that you become inspired to do, there's a place for your voices and for your work. And for that, you can thank the movie God. <laughs> and thank you, movie God, for being a little Thanks to all of you.